Let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of an activity-based costing system. Recall that under a traditional costing system, we use one plant-wide overhead rate to apply overhead to each manufacturing job. However, under an activity-based costing system, we use multiple activity rates to apply overhead. Each activity rate is calculated using its own activity base, which is correlated to the costs within the activity cost pool. What are some of the benefits of an activity-based costing system? First, the activity-based costing system uses multiple cost pools. This allows management to customize the activity base for each cost pool so that the base correlates to the costs within the pool. The use of multiple cost drivers, which closely correlate to the costs within the pool, allows for better allocation of manufacturing costs to each job. When implementing an activity-based costing system, management must identify the cost pools. During this process, management increases their awareness of each activity performed during production. They can use this information to identify activities which are non-value added. Value added activities enhance the company's operations, but non value added activities add cost without adding value to the job. As such, these activities can be reduced or even eliminated. By reducing or eliminating these costs, management improves profitability. Finally, with better costing information and better cost controls, management can improve both their strategic and operational decisions. By understanding their manufacturing costs, which often make up a substantial portion of a product's costs, management can make better decisions for the company as a whole. In addition, better costing information will help management to evaluate employees and departments. It helps them to develop performance standards against which employees and departments can be benchmarked. However, an activity-based costing system also has its limitations. The first limitation is that activity-based costing systems are often expensive to implement. The cost of identifying activities and determining cost drivers, it can be high. In many companies, the number of activities, and therefore the number of cost pools, can be substantial. In addition, any changes in the manufacturing process will require a review of both the activities and the cost drivers. So maintaining an activity-based costing system is significantly higher than maintaining a traditional costing system. The need to identify cost pools and then assign overhead to each pool and then determine appropriate cost drivers? An activity-based costing system is clearly complex. For example, Clark Hearth, a division of Clark Equipment Company, has over 170 activities in their activity-based costing system. This complexity is one of the reasons why activity-based costing systems are less likely to be implemented. Regardless of the amount of activity cost pools a company may develop, cost drivers may not appropriately reflect all of the costs in the cost pool. This is because the cost driver, which is highly correlated to the actual consumption of overhead costs in the cost pool, is not always available. For instance, the appropriate cost driver for factory insurance is likely the replacement cost of production equipment, but this information is not readily available. Therefore, simpler cost drivers, such as square footage, are often used. This results in arbitrary allocations of costs, which do not reflect the actual use of resources. Given the limitations of an activity-based costing system, when should companies consider implementing an ABC system? If a company's products are produced in significantly different volumes and the manufacturing process of these products is complex, then likely an ABC system would provide better cost allocations. When there are many different product lines and each product line is unique, requiring different support services, then an ABC system will provide better cost allocations to each product. Finally, if overhead costs make up a significant portion of the total cost of a product, then an ABC system will benefit the company by providing better cost allocations to products. Other factors, such as the automation of the manufacturing process and managers ignoring the information from the current costing system, are other indicators that support the implementation of an activity-based costing system. Ultimately, implementation of an activity-based costing system 
given its costs and complexity, requires careful consideration. This is particularly true since the benefits of an activity-based costing system are often not apparent until after it's been implemented. That's it for activity-based costing systems. As always, thank you for watching.